Hello everyone, this is uh, Henry Lee from Blue Heron Arts. Um, I'm doing a t-shirt today uh, for a special customer uh, who saw my early t-shirt painting videos and want uh, this uh, uh, design with a blue heron. We um, actually have not uh, done this for more than dozen uh, years. I did that mostly in Seattle in uh, summer as my uh, summer job when I studied at the University of Washington. Um, I have sold hundreds of uh, such t-shirts, um, but uh, now I'm only focused on teaching. Uh, as a demo, I'll show you how to do this. Uh, you can try. I use acrylic uh, pens. You can see I use a Western watercolor brush instead of a Chinese brush because on fabric, it's kind of difficult to paint with a Chinese brush. Use water to dilute it. Just add more water to get it to smear. Just like the uh, on rice paper. And the fabric you can do very uh, heavy strokes without to worry about breaking the surface. One, then to do more, just dilute the color with the water. The one behind should be much lighter, so you use more water. use any fabric uh, acrylic pants. Um, the one I got is from uh, 20 years ago. Uh, they are already out of the market. So you have to find your own uh, source in art supply stores. They always have this. Not use dye. Dye is too thin. So I don't use a uh, silk dye. It's the uh, acrylic pants. There's also a favorite media, a fabric media, uh, you know, like binding material that you can use to make any acrylic into uh, 
fabric pants is a uh, washable. I mean, it won't wash out. Uh, you can, but you have to heat set it after painting. In Chinese, uh, uh, is a, a nice saying of uh, you know, uh, think before action or uh, three thinkers. That's the traditional subject matter. I also use some red on the head just to make it for more decorative. That's it.
thank uh, Patricia uh, for your commissioning of doing this uh, t-shirt. I hope you like it. And thank everybody on YouTube for watching.